Aquarius, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot, and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Aquarius this week? That flew across the room, I'm going to have to get it one second. Ace of Pentacles, flying across the room, wanting our attention. Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. Ace of Pentacles can be money, can be an opportunity, can be a person. It's something of value and I also feel it's something you've been wanting. And I'm not saying that just to say it. It just feels like, um, almost like a carrot being dangled in front of you where you're like, I need that. Like, I've been wanting that. I need that. Um, you're going to get it. You're going to be offered it this week and it might also feel like a trap or a trick. I feel like you're going to be like, oh, like a carrot, right? Like, wh why is that being why is that being offered to me now like what's the catch i don't know what's i feel like um oh this might be something coming to you right when you've healed from wanting it so if um it's almost like you were searching outside of yourself for happiness and the second you realize oh happiness comes from within i don't need anything outside of myself to bring me this happiness and you've healed it the universe is like here you go congratulations next level you you get what you want now um like, I don't know, I, don't, you, like, I feel like this has been a long time coming, but it's just been the universe seeing how patient you can be. Like, you already knew that happiness came from inside of you, but you were just like, um, okay, cool. Yep, I don't know, there's something, there's something you've been waiting for that's finally, like, chucked at you. It's like, it's almost like you, you were at the boss level. Like, this has all been a test, it's all been a game, and you were at the final boss level of patience, of you really had to be as patient as possible, and you're going to get... You're going to get something. You're going to get offered something. You're going to get a relationship. You're going to get given um, an opportunity in work that you've been, like, really, really, really hoping for. But also detaching and letting go of because you know that you don't really need it to be happy. And I don't know. There's a very happy energy around you of really kind of not caring anymore if you get something. And that's right when you're going to get this if that makes sense. If you're like, what is it I'm getting? It's the thing that you used to want, but you don't really want now, if that makes sense. You, you really wanted it at one point, but now you're like, meh, eh. If I don't get it, I'll survive. Uh, I'll live. I'm, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm grateful for where I am. Uh, Six of Cups, Page of Cups. Six of Cups is also returning. Six of Cups is someone returning from the past, or just returning to a way of childlike, innocent, playful times and being. Uh, I feel like some of you are retiring soon. And if it's not that, you're just um, going to be in the place where you can retire maybe a lot sooner than you're realising because of money in some way, an opportunity in some way coming in. And with the Page of Cups, it's unexpected. It's unexpected. I'm just getting something about good luck coming in, so it'd be funny if the Wheel of Fortune comes in. There's something unexpected that is going to be very, very happy, very good for you. And it's going to mean that you're going to be able to retire sooner than you want or to... Just live a lot more freely, like a child, without con being concerned about bills or being concerned about how to get through each week. You're just going to be a lot more, like, chill. Um, That's such a weird message to come through. You might even be moving to, like, near water if you're moving. That was weird that I said you might be moving because I wasn't talking about moving, I don't think. Um, The sun, temperance, and the four of swords. So the four of swords and temperance are both cards of healing. So that's major healing. That's minor healing. So there's big and little healing happening for you. I keep looking um, at my desk, which is really weird. I keep thinking I'm seeing something, but there's nothing there. Uh, you can't, You might be like having false wins or false things where you're like, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. And then, oh, there's nothing there. Because I keep like looking, but there's nothing. If that makes sense. Like you might be looking in places thinking that something's going to work out. And then you, oh, it's not for me. Like false starts or false wins. But you're finally, like, the sun is here. This is the happiest card in the deck. There's happiness coming. There's finally a win. There's finally something starting. Something's going to begin for you. Um, getting that song, let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. And I feel like you're having a new beginning. And you're, you're just chill. You're happy. There's a lot of land here as well. Like, look, open space, open field for you to roam. For you just to be free. And, and also, like, um, let's start at the very beginning. It's obviously from Sound of Music. Um, but she looks like she's in the hills, like dancing, doesn't she? I don't know, like the hills are alive. Um, she's, 
I don't know, it's really giving me that energy from that movie, if you've seen it. Four of Swords, Temperance. Four of Swords is healing. Four of Swords, as I said, is healing, obviously. But it's also this energy of um, hibernating or um, taking time out for yourself. I feel like you've been doing that long enough and now you're going to get a little bit more balance of seeing the world or seeing the light. Um, if you've been in a little bit of a nesting phase or a little bit of a cocoon, um, like the sun's here now, it's time to get into the sun, it's time to be seen. If you live in a cold country or somewhere where it's winter or coming into the colder season, I should say, uh, there's something about either traveling to sun, traveling to hot weather, traveling to somewhere where it's summer soon, or um, being in, you need a little bit more sunlight, some of you, I don't know. Star, this is your card, Aquarius. So you have the sun, which is healing. Sorry, no, it's not. Four of Swords, which is healing. The sun is healing, don't get me wrong. Temperance, which is healing. And there's one other major card in this deck for healing, and that's the star. Aquarius, you have a lot of healing going on inside and out. Uh, like you're, you're healing your insides, you're outside the healing. You're also healing like your motivation and your inspirations because the star is also your hopes and dreams. And I feel as if maybe you got a little bit stagnant or you, you lost your way or you lost the thing that you were hoping for and you're going to be either renewed in a vision that you want or renewed in a relationship that you're going to want. I don't know, there's something that you're going to have your North Star. You're going to have that thing that's guiding you and you're going to, um, this might be saying as well to make a vision board or to get ready to make a new one for the new year, but it's almost like if you don't have anything you're hoping for, if you don't have anything you're looking forward to, it's time to find it. It's time to look within and find it because it's going to guide you forward. It's going to pull you forward in the direction you want to go. Whereas if you're, um, I don't know, I don't know why it's coming through. It's like you can't hit a target you're not aiming for. So it's like somehow... Find a target to aim for, even if it seems out of reach, especially if it seems out of reach because it's getting going to guide you. It's going to pull you into like the next phase of your life that might seem a little bit more difficult. It's like a level up. I think I already said that earlier. It's like you're on the next level now and it's going to seem harder. It's supposed to, but it's going to have bigger rewards and it's going to have more fulfilling when you finish that level. You're going to be like, whoa, I finished level 11. I never thought I'd get past it. I don't know. If things are harder, it's almost like... It's for a reason, if that makes sense. You also have Rebirth, which is the Death card, which is Scorpio's card here, which is like, I feel like ending a cycle, ending a level. You finish that, you're ready for the next level. And the thing that's going to pull you through, through this level is having something to look forward to, having something to hope for. Maybe some of you are booking a holiday. There's something where you're going to have something to look forward to in order to, like... I don't know, I'm seeing someone like kite surfing and this thing that you're looking forward to is going to be like the kite pulling you. It's going to be the thing that pulls you through. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I've said resonated or if you think it will or if you just like my style or if you just like my face and you want to see more of it, please let me know by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next Tuesday at the Tiny Tilt Tarot Tuesdays.